everyone, it's Pamela and welcome to Puffy Books. Today I thought I would bring to you another unboxing for Owl Crate and this month for the box for June the theme is royalty. So let's get started. I've already just put the tape across ready for filming just to make it a bit easier for everyone. So as per usual there's a card inside the box which explains what's in it but I'm not going to read that yet because I don't want to ruin the surprise for myself but I always quite enjoyed the actual cards that come in sometimes I put them on the wall because they always have quite fun pictures so the first item I can see inside the box appears to be a Disney mystery mini final figurine which I've not opened this one up because it's still cellophane wrapped so I'll have to put the box down to open this one up but on the back you can see all the different designs for the characters that might be inside the box and they're quite cute and I do quite enjoy some of the, some of the fun cold vinyl pop figurines that are collectible at the moment so it should be quite fun to have as one. I am quite hoping that I actually get Ariel though because it's my favourite out of the designs on the back of the box but we'll see. So I'll put it to one side and open it up in a minute. And then next there is a little fabric pouch that has Rich Love Shop stamps on it. So I'm hoping you can see that on there. I don't know how else picking up. And um, so let's see what's inside the pouch. And then inside the pouch is, oh, there's a bangle, which I don't know if you can see the image there. It has like a little picture of the moon and the stars and a quote uh, it says, even in the future, the story begins with once upon a time. So I quite like that. It's quite sweet. And because it's an open-ended bangle, I should still be able to open it up a little bit more and get that on because I've got quite chunky miss. So, yeah, I managed to fit that on just fine. And there's also a little business card inside for the person who made this bangle. Who, it appears to have been made by somebody called Jamie Butler. And there's a little email address and an Instagram link for her shop with the technical error there. So but we'll carry on. And then there's also an advert inside for I think it's a web shop that sells custom bookmarks because it says your personal discount for the most unusual bookmark. And it has ten dollar card on code on the back. So that might be quite fun to use. I'll have to visit, and there's a website for where that can be spent. So I'll have to visit that one later because I do love some good bookmarks and I like to have a variety of them around me all the time. So that'll be fun to play with. And then there's also a little set of magnetic bookmarks by Crafted Ran which feature a king and queen and a pumpkin style carriage so hopefully you can see those there they're in purple and lilac and grey which is great for me because they they happen to also be some of my favourite colours and that is also print that has a quote from the Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard on it. Words can lie, see beyond them. So th this will be the print that's me probably mentioned on most people's um, custom form stickers that come on the boxes. And then the, the last item appears to be the book. So I won't pull the book out just yet because we'll go back to the little vinyl figurine and see what was inside that one. So if I can rip it open because I don't have any scissors to hand. I'm 
Hey, my trusty assistant has handed me a pocket knife tool thingy. Which I can't seem to open that either. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, kids, do not try this at home because it's not. This is not the way to open a box. But we need to be quick because we haven't got all day. So I'll just use the pop screw to try and split the plastic there. I'd prefer you all to use a pair of regular <laughs> kitchen scissors or something to do this. Especially for anyone who's a bit younger or watching. Okay, so we've got the cellophane off the box now. So let's open this up and see what is inside the box. If this is made like any of the fine, like vinyl blind box figurines I've had in the past, most of the time the figurine itself will come inside a little sealed bag. So you can't actually see what it is once you take it out of the box. But here it is, and it's quite. Looking at the pictures on the box, this feels like Cogsworth. But you know, I do love Beauty and the Beast. I'm kind of hoping that it's not Cogsworth. And oh, okay, I appear to have Marinda, Marinda from Brave. I've I've not actually watched Brave, so I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce her name. Um, but I really should learn because. I do believe she's actually supposed to be based on a Scottish folktale, so I really should learn what that one actually is because I am English, after all. But she's quite a she's quite a nicely detailed figurine. She's got really great hair. I would love to have hair like that actually, but mine I think I need to get it changed up soon. Okay, so that was the figurine that was inside the box. So if any of you happen to have gotten this month's Alcray box, let me know in the comments below what figurine you got because it'd be interesting to compare with everyone. And now on to the final two items in the box. Because usually sometimes hiding under the bottom, underneath the book, is a preview card for next month. Okay, so next month's preview card says that the July the theme of the July box is good versus evil flip for a sneak peek okay in the july box you will receive a full-size pop figurine from funko will you receive a good or an evil box you won't know until you open it and then there's like a little image there of some of the possible figurines that'll be in there now i already do own hermione dobby and Cthulhu out of the main Funko Pop Rangers so I'm kind of hoping that I don't get one of those ones in it because you know, otherwise I'll have to find someone to swap with okay and then the actual book itself is okay it's actually written by three different people so obviously this book is done as a collaboration and it is My Lady Jane which is written by Cynthia Hand Rhody Ashton and Jodie Meadows, Meadows and it appears it's possibly about Jane Seymour who was married to Henry VIII because the quotes that are in on the cover here sometimes history gets it all wrong it's not easy being queen off with her head I'm thinking it might possibly be about her okay and Usually with Owl Crate books, besides being a hard book, there's normally something else included like a signed book play, a bookmark, or a letter from the author's author, usually one singular. So let's see. Okay, inside this one there is a letter from the, the authors and a crown. So it has so it's like a little cardboard one and there's some tabs you can poke out to make it tight but i'm not going to put it together right now i'm just going to wear it as it is like a headband so is it looking good and okay so i'll just show you the book once more so you can see it look more clearly and on the back there's a brief description so this one says 
the comical, fantastical, romantical, entirely true story of Lady Jane Grey. But not really. Lady Jane Grey, 16, is about to be married to a total stranger and caught up in an insidious plot to rob her cousin, King Edward, of his throne. But that's the least of Jane's problems. She's about to become Queen of England. Like that could go wrong. And the quotes underneath from different authors say, the Tudors meet Monty Python, prepare to laugh and ga gasp and clutch at your pills. And that's from Tahira Mathi, New York Times bestselling author of the Chateau Me series. And I've not actually read the Chateau Me series, but I know it's quite popular on booktube and Tahira Mathi herself is very popular at some of the book events that go on, such as BEA. I know she's quite popular there. And the other quote says, history, humour and unexpected magic come together in this marvellous story, which that was said by Jessica Day George, the New York Times bestselling author of Silver in the Blood. I'm not entirely familiar with that book because I'm not always the best at keeping tabs on what's going on. But it has these really, really great deckled edges. But these actually feel quite smooth, like, like so usually deckled edges tend to feel a bit rougher. And it also appears to be purple underneath the dust jacket. There's some more quotes inside. Oh, and there's a little gold pony there. That's quite pretty. And it's just gold and purple, which is really, really nice. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And you'll check in with me again sometime soon to see what else I've been getting up to. So, take care and bye-bye for now. Bye.